series was set up 30 years ago and it was set up to be a model for economic, social and environmental sustainability. So we took this site, which is an old tip site, and we have gradually changed it and turned it into this beautiful green oasis in an urban setting. NAP's relationship with Ceres really was uh, started from a response to an advert back in 2006 where Ceres were looking for some assistance and some sponsorship for an energy park and really the relationship has grown from there and this year alone 750 NAB volunteers have actually been out here and worked at Ceres. The volunteers are high skill, they're often very competitive so very productive. We can turn around at the end of the day and see, wow, this is fantastic, look how much work has been done. So it's been a fantastic relationship that's really grown from strength to strength, not only through general volunteering, so lots of tree planting, lots of propagation, lots of building, but also now moving more into the skilled volunteering opportunities. Today we've been uh, installing irrigation systems and doing a bit of general weeding, uh, tree chopping. The benefits of the unskilled volunteering are several. First of all, with the propagation, we get more plants that we can sell in the nursery and plant in our farms. With Ceres Education, the landscaping and the building of new teaching spaces allows us to deliver our education programs to more students, which has a direct financial benefit and a direct benefit to our wider remit. And so it's been a great, great ongoing project for different parts of Ceres to come together in the implementation. So we've had two main skilled volunteering projects out here at Ceres. One of them has been an IT upgrade and then some guys from our business improvements in Personal Bank have been doing some fantastic work on Ceres actual business improvements. Before we did the Ceres IT uplift program, we never really knew whether our computer system was going to be working when we arrived in, at our desk each morning or not. We're a great community organisation that is very resource poor, particularly in that area. Over the nine month period, we were able to roll out this complete new system of IT for Ceres. So that included our database system and also the equipment and the, the resources that supported those things. We now have an incredibly reliable, safe system that is efficient and effective all of the time. And if anything goes wrong, there's a, there's a pathway to fixing it. I actually live in the area, I live in East Brunswick myself and um, I was really interested to get involved here so I had a look on the NAB volunteer planner and there was one skilled volunteering opportunity for HR which is not my gig but I thought oh, maybe there'll be something else so I gave one of the, uh, the, the managers a call here and that led to a coffee which led to a meeting which led to a, a six month project <laughs> involving the business improvement team. So Most of us do not come from a business background, most of us come from a community background a horticulture background and running an organic market which is a million dollar business. To start with that was fine but as the businesses grew and became more complex and became more busy to get the expertise of the NAB business improvement team was exactly what we needed. Initially we did a, a diagnostic review of all the 11 enterprise streams and we identified that there were six key areas that are needed to be looked at in more detail. As an example, the cafe um, was really, really busy, um, but they were running at pretty much a neutral profit margin, so it actually didn't matter how busy they were, they were never making their monthly targets. So they've done a, a full review of the menu, uh, identified what the best selling items were, and they've got a real quick turnover. So they got inside that business and made some, some suggestions, which were really just small tweaks and small changes. And the cafe has completely and dramatically turned around and is now um, contributing a profit back to Ceres, which has just been fantastic to see. I mean, the other thing that Ceres is very resource poor on is professional development. So this became almost a professional development opportunity for um, our business managers. Some of the skills that we've got within NAB are quite specialised and you don't realise how useful they are until you take them outside of the corporate environment. So coming to places like this, it's really rewarding and just some simple stuff that we do at NAB means so much more. 2012 looks bright for NAB and Ceres. Obviously the great work that Barry and his team have done from business improvements have actually led to a lot of skill-based volunteering projects for the future. So 2012 we'll be looking at fulfilling those skilled volunteering projects. We look forward to continuing to work with National Australia Bank volunteers. It helps us do what we really want to do in a myriad of ways in upskilling people here, 
in providing labour and providing advice. There's a lot of interest from other staff members as well and we can get a lot more out of our skilled volunteering that we're doing at the moment and strategically deliver a lot more than perhaps doing what we've done here with a different partner. It really does have a positive effect and um, at the end of the day the people in the community are our customers so I think it's great that we've got the strong connection. Thank you.